Hey guys, Lizzie the Lightworker here. And I'm so glad you're joining me today and welcome to my channel if you're first time joining me. Um, I'm doing a viewer's request video today. So this is going to be for Twin Flames, Aries, and Taurus. Aries Divine Female, Taurus Divine Male. And we're going to jump right into it and we're going to talk first about our Aries Divine Female. And then we're going to talk about our Taurus Divine Male. And what I like to do is I like to get a couple cards out about our Aries Divine Female. Sort of um, what was going on with her, how is she feeling about this relationship, uh, maybe some things that she has to work on or what she needs or what she wants out of it. Uh, maybe the energy that she's in uh, and maybe like her state sort of now her current state same thing with our Taurus divine male and in the middle sort of like how was their relationship together um, you know sort of things maybe they needed to work on or sort of a picture of their relationship and sort of um, you know how it could be maybe if they reunite now I want to say guys I don't try to build up anybody's hopes here only because um, we all have free will I don't really like to do predictive readings about timing and when are we getting back together because we all have free will and um, the journey is for a purpose we each have to have our own separate journeys sometimes that could take years it could take months um, it, it really it all depends on um, how your energies are syncing up and how they last were okay a lot of us have separations we don't always come back with our twin okay we may have learned the lessons uh, or we may have more work to do in this life or more karma to burn off so just keep that in mind guys um, but I do the best I can for you I try to keep it positive light and for healing purposes okay so let's get into this our divine female Aries what's going on with our divine female Aries okay okay so I'm feeling like she is really thinking about the past here. She's thinking about maybe when they first met. I don't know if they met at a young age, okay? Um, sometimes when I see this card, it's like you met in childhood or teenage years. Um, and definitely thinking about the past a lot, reminiscing, thinking about uh, the memories that you shared together. Um, and like sort of looking back fondly, okay? Like when I see this card too, sometimes I'm like, I sense that people are like, oh, they're looking at old pictures or they're playing music from the, that time era um, or they're just sort of, you know, reminiscing a lot or they're talking about the past a lot and they're just in that energy where, you know, they wish they could go back to that time. They, they feel like they want to be back in that time um, or they're thinking that they want to go back in the past and fix something, which is we all know not possible, but that is a possibility there. Sometimes I also see past life when I see this. So this quite possibly could definitely be a past life connection with this twin. And then sometimes I also see sort of um, inner child issues, okay? Like your inner child, like Aries inner child or Taurus inner child could have some issues there from childhood, okay? But yeah, all in all, definitely Aries thinking about the past here, okay? And thinking about her twin, very um, heavily thinking, okay? Um, I think she wants to go back in the past. I think she wants to, she's thinking about what could have been different. Um, maybe did she do something wrong? She's wishing she can go back in the past and change the outcome or change what happened here, okay? And definitely because she's up at night, okay? Tormenting uh, herself here, definitely. Um, making herself sick with worry, regret, anxiety, depression, sadness, uh, like mentally sick over this, um, blaming uh, herself here, okay, worrying, worrying about this, worrying about the whole situation, worrying about her divine male, um, sort of feeling like uh, not in control, there's nothing I can do, oh my god, how am I ever going to get through this, it's sort of like the darkest darkest hours before dawn um, if that makes any sense guys it's like you know you have to get through the night that's really what it feels like right now in this energy like getting through the night um, also could be a little bit dark night of the soul okay sometimes when I see this card like you know we go through dark night of the soul guys it's like when we're at our absolute spiritual low and we're about to have a huge awakening or we're about to level up again and that would make sense with the judgment card okay because judgment sort of about an awakening answering a call but all in all too I'm feeling like she is just really stuck in the past really upset thinking about the past a lot what could she have done differently or wanting to go back to that up all night worry grief anxiety frustration um, just in a 
terrible sadness um, because it was over. Okay, so they're definitely in a separation here. This to me says an ending or, or actually like, you know, going into a new beginning, um, possibly for her. Okay, I feel like this is her spiritual awakening here and she's maybe possibly just starting out here. Okay, um, now let's get into our Taurus Divine Males energy here. Okay, so I'm feeling like right off the bat, there's a bit of hostile feelings here. Um, I feel like he can't be defeated. He can't be um, wrong. Um, he definitely um, could have maybe even done some self-sabotage here when it comes to this relationship. Um, I'm feeling like he just wanted to be right. Um, he thought he was right, okay? He might have talked badly uh, um, about her. Um, he may have... Uh, wanted to have like some kind of victory over her, like win, um, you know, like I see ego here. That's usually when I get this card, I see ego. Okay. He must've had some ego issues, um, or not wanting to feel or be defeated or be wrong, um, or maybe being shady, um, you know, sort of hiding emotions, harboring emotions, um, that should have come out should have been talked about, should have been dealt with. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of like a selfishness here. Okay. Um, I could be wrong, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm sort of feeling right now. But I, in a way, um, now I don't know if there was another woman here that interrupted this or came in between them or, um, and maybe not even on a relationship. It could have been a mother figure. It could have been a sister figure. It could have been somebody that interrupted the, um, flow of this relationship, or it could be, yeah, another woman, um, that could have interrupted this. Okay. Um, I'm also feeling like his energy could be also the queen of cups where he's more like, you know, uh, sensitive, emotional, um, you know, empathetic, all those things, compassionate, all those good things. But I'm also feeling like there's a side to queen of cups energy, which is a water sign energy that has a vindictive nature as well. Okay. And this to me says vindictive as well. Okay. So there was some hostile energy here, I believe from this, um, our Taurus divine male. Um, and we won't really know all the way until we go in the middle. I feel like, um, he definitely offered love here though, or he wants to be able to give his love. Um, and he maybe has some issues with how to give his love or how to express his love, um, or how to put it out there. Okay. That's a possibility, but I do feel like, um, there's something about him being open to new love again or loving again here. Okay. And let's get the middle going here. Okay. Yeah. I feel like when they were together, they were very happy. They had a lot of fun together. Um, I feel like they celebrated life together, celebrated each other's accomplishments together. Um, I feel like they both may have been doing really well when they were together. They may have lifted each other up, lifted each other higher in life, and really definitely gave each other positive energy, positive feedback, <clears throat> excuse me, positive love, um, you know, affirmations of love being together made them both happy and feel complete, okay? I feel like they went out a lot. They enjoyed life together a lot. I feel like they could have been like at clubs together or at bars together or celebrating together at parties together. I feel like there was a lot of that good, um, fun sort of energy, um, you know, coming together, okay? All right. He's definitely thinking about her. He's definitely thinking about our divine female. Um, Taurus male, divine is thinking about our Aries female divine. Um, he is hoping that she'll come back. And this makes sense because it's like new offer of love. It's like, here, I have this love to offer now. Okay. So he may have been kind of shady, kind of bad, kind of acting like kind of acting a fool a little bit. Um, maybe in the beginning, or he does have some insecurities or ego issues. Um, or maybe a little tad bit of narcissism. He could have been under that energy just a bit. Um, but really at his core, he is good natured, loving, caring, all those things, sympathetic, uh, that a water sign is and has love to offer. Okay. But yeah, he's thinking about her. Definitely. Sorry guys. I got to fix my sleeve. He's definitely thinking about her. He feels like he has a lot to offer her. Um, he feels like, you know, she was sort of his world. 
She was sort of his, his, his partner, the partner that he wanted, the partner that he sought out, that he seeked. He was definitely, um, you know, thinking of her in that way and still is, okay? I feel like he feels kind of lost without her. Um, you know, he's sort of reflecting too on things. Um, but I'm feeling like too, he's definitely still got a bit of that ego. He's got to get that under control. Um, you know, like... I feel like to me this is saying like I have the world to offer you but you're my world in return um, to me this is like sort of waiting for somebody to come back to you or trying to strengthen the partnership again which could be possible it, 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 hey we don't know right guys it could it could be that it could be leading to that um, but yeah that's what I usually see when I see the two of wands two of wands energy um, for that okay yeah and we're definitely needing balance here in this relationship okay so if this does come back together at some point um because i feel like it is definitely in a separation um if it comes back together at some point there's gonna have to be equal balance here okay um they're gonna have to add to each other if that makes any sense like blend their opposites together like opposites attract yes they do but you're gonna have to they're gonna have to blend things they're going to have to compromise. They're going to have to try to manage their feelings and their emotions. And they're going to have to express themselves the right way at the right times. Um, I feel like patience is required here for this one. Okay. I'm feeling patience is required. Um, you know, Aries, if you're wondering, Taurus, if you're wondering what's going to happen here, how's it going to be? How's it going to turn out? I mean, you both have free will, okay? It could go any way. I mean, don't forget, we still need to meet soulmates. We need to have karmic relationships. We need to burn karma off. We need to have other experiences, okay? As well as our twin flame experiences. We have to have all those other experiences. I feel like that's saying this too. You need to sort of have more experiences. You need to sort of learn. Learn from each other. This is also a lesson here. Learn from each other. What did you learn from each other? Ask yourself that question. You know, maybe did you need to learn patience? Did you need to learn how to compromise? Did you need to learn how to uh, sort of temper your indulgent behaviors? Um, uh, temperaments, things like that, okay? It's sort of asking you, what did you learn here? Or what do you think you needed to learn here, okay? That's something I can't answer. That's something only you guys can answer, um, who's ever, whoever's watching, okay? So, um, yeah, that's what I, I, I'm feeling. Um, I do feel like this is just telling you patience. Patience is required here for this one, guys. Um, like I said before, okay? Um, and we'll see. Let's just get one final card here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So I'm feeling like it's, you guys definitely both feel like sort of left out in the cold kind of feeling here. Um, to me, this says you have to work on um, balance as well. This is, to me, another thing with balance. Um, I'm feeling like... You know, sometimes we don't want to ask for help. We don't want to seek help. We don't want to believe that we need help um, in our relationships or in our financial situations. We don't want to believe that. This is sort of telling you um, maybe to ask for help with this. Like maybe you need to ask your higher self. You need to ask like angels to guide you, um, to come in. Um, I'm feeling like you both definitely feel sort of emotionally bankrupt here from this. It left you feeling cold, tired, weathered, worn, stuck, broke, like emotionally broke, emotionally wiped. Um, and you know, sad sort of, okay. And sort of like, I think also here is going to be a message for codependency, guys, okay? So you're going to have to watch codependency. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And if you'd like to see any more uh, readings, please let me know. Twin Flame or Twin Flame Separation readings. And I love all of you guys and love and light to you. And I'll see you on the next one.